If you are creating videos here on your iPhone or your iPad using iMovie, then learning how to use the editing functions are really going to take your videos to the next level. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. If you're looking for tips and tricks and hacks all about creating audio and video on your iPhone and iPad, you've come to the right place. Consider subscribing. But for now, let's dive straight into iMovie and start looking at these very cool editing functions that we have available. Here we are in iMovie. Now to show you the editing features, we need to start a new movie. So I'm gonna tap the big plus button. I'm gonna tap on create new project, new movie. Now I've got all of my clips stored in an album. So I'm gonna tap on albums here. I'm gonna scroll down to iMovie and here they all are. Now if I wanted to, I could tap all of these clips and then hit the create movie button and it would create a movie with all of those clips included. But what I like to do is actually do it one by one. So let's tap this, which is the first clip I wanna use and hit create movie and there you go. It's thrown that clip 12.5 seconds here into my timeline. So now let's take a look at how we can start editing and trimming this clip so we can start building out our project. So to trim a video here in iMovie, there's two main ways to do it. Number one is to use the trim handle. So if we tap on the clip here, you'll notice this yellow handle at the front here. If we tap and drag on that yellow handle, it will actually trim in. And when we reach the point where I'm about to speak there, and now just slide back again, so you can just line it up to the spot just by moving backwards and forwards. And there it is right there and release. And now if I hit play, in this quick tip video, I'm gonna give you five tips. It's gonna be right at the spot that we want to start the video. Now, the other way we can do this is to use the split function. So let's use that for the back end. So if we tap again, again, we could trim by just dragging that end handle. But if we wanted to, and it's often a little bit more precise, if we slide our playhead to the point where we want this to be, so let's just hit play here. Let's go. Hit pause. That's the point where we wanna cut. So we're gonna tap, and now down the bottom here, we can hit split. So let's hit the split button, and it split this into two clips. So we can just tap on the first clip or the second clip, and to delete this, in the bottom right corner, we're gonna tap on, you guessed it, delete. So now we have this clip here, it's 7.6 seconds, and it's our first clip of our movie. So let's hit play and take a look. In this quick tip video, I'm gonna give you five tips to get better video editing on your iPhone or iPad. Let's go. And there we go, so that's all good. We've used our trim function here to trim and to edit down that clip. And that is what probably, you know, 60 to 70% of your editing is gonna be, is gonna be adding in clips, trimming them down and doing what we call cutting, cutting your video together. But there's a few more things that you may wanna know. So let's continue on and add in a second clip to our video. So to add in our next clip, we're gonna to scroll to the end here, which is where we wanna add our clip, and we're gonna hit the plus button here over on the left. So we'll tap on that one. Again, we're gonna go into our albums, and we're gonna scroll down to iMovie here. So the next clip we want is this 11 second clip here. So we're gonna tap on that one. Now there's some options we have here. If you wanna add it straight to the project, we just hit the plus button. If we wanna play back the clip to make sure it's the one we want, we hit play. Number one, get a stable shot. And it will play back our clip or we can press on the ellipsis, these three dots, and we can access our new features here. So these are the features like cutaway, picture in picture, split screen, green or blue screen, and audio only. So we can add those into our project. And if you wanna learn how to use all of those, check out the previous video where I go into the new features of iMovie. So we'll hit cancel for now because all we wanna do is add this in. So we're gonna hit the plus button and that's gonna throw this clip down into our timeline. And there you go. You can see it's automatically added in the transition there, which is gonna be this cross dissolve transition between one and the other. And now we can go ahead and start doing our trimming and editing on this second clip. So let's use those same methods, but in reverse this time. So let's find the spot where we wanna come in, which is gonna be right there. And we'll tap on our clip and uh oh, we don't have split. Why don't we have split? Well, it's to do with this transition. So because there's a cross dissolve transition here, it's actually still transitioning and it won't let you split until you get into the point of the clip past that transition. And this is a trap that beginners and even intermediate and advanced iMovie users can come across. So all you need to do there is actually change your transition. We can change it back if we do wanna keep the dissolve, but change this back to none. And then we can actually come here, find our point that we want, which is gonna be right there and tap. And now we can split. So we're gonna hit split. We're gonna delete that in between part. And now let's check our transition between these two clips. And let's go. Number one, get a stay. So not bad, but we probably want to trim it a little bit more. So we can adjust that edit. So we'll just come there. Now we want it to be about there maybe. 
tap again. Again, we can keep splitting, tapping, deleting until we get the cut we want. So let's play this let's again. Let's go. Number one, get us. Now, I've deliberately, not really, but I've done something there. I've cut off too much, but that's okay because iMovie uses something called non-destructive editing, which is super cool. What you can do, if you do cut off too much, we can use our trim function and we can just slide it back a bit. So you don't ever actually permanently delete anything when you're editing here in iMovie. So now, if we try this again. Let's go. Number one, get a stable shot. That's a better cut. So yes, if you make a mistake, don't worry. You can either undo. So over here on the right, we can undo. So if we wanted to go back to that horrible cut, we can hit undo there and we go back to that one. We can also tap and hold on the undo button and we can redo. So we want to redo the better cut. And there you go. So you can use your redos, your undos and your non-destructive editing, meaning that it really doesn't matter what you do. You're going to be able to find your way back to your normal spot. Now I cover transitions in more detail in another video, which I'll link up the top and down in the description. But if we do want to change this transition we just tap on the transition there and say we wanted a wipe instead we can tap on that one and now if we play this back ipad let's go number one get a stable we can get a different cut now to be honest i generally use none or what's called a jump cut most of the time so it's just going to jump and cut go. Number one, get us between the two clips. Now, you might notice there the audio doesn't sound great, so maybe I'd use a fade or something in this one, but I wanted to show you another technique that you can actually use, and that's a zoom technique. So we can zoom in and zoom out on footage here in iMovie. You can't zoom any further out than the full frame, but if we grab this first frame, for instance, in the top right corner here, we can tap on this little zoom icon, and now it's telling us to pinch to zoom, but what I can actually do is take two fingers and spread them apart and I can actually line up this shot to be a little bit more zoomed in. I know, a bit scary on my face there. So what this is going to do is it's going to create, oh, I've moved it again, um, it's going to create some difference between that clip and this clip. So it just is good when you've got a similar background and a similar sort of shot to create some variation. So let's come back and hit play on this first section and look at this transition now. On your iPhone or iPad, let's go. Number one, get a stable shot because... And we could do that the other way around. We could go from zoomed out to zoomed in. But if you've got a video like this, what I'll probably do is change up that direction every time. Now, don't zoom in too far because you're going to lose resolution on your video. So if you shot it on an iPhone in, say, 1080p or even in 4K, you don't want to go zooming in too much because you'll lose some of that resolution and the quality in your video. But that's just another way to edit to get some variation in your shots. Let's explore some of the other options we have in our editing menu. So if we tap on this second clip down the bottom right here, we've already looked at split. We also have detach, duplicate, and delete. We've already covered delete. So what detach does is it detaches the audio from the video. So if we hit detach, you can see there that we've now got an audio file and a video file, and they're going to be separate. So this means that this video file has been muted. So if we wanted to say delete the audio there for some reason, we don't want me to be talking, then we play it back. Go. Now, this isn't useful for something like this, but if this was B-roll footage, so if I said, let's go, and then I cut to a sequence where I'm showing me running around shooting videos, then I may want to have music there instead. So I may want to add audio instead of actually having the audio from this track. So I could detach the audio and delete it, or I could simply just reduce the volume. So let's undo that to reattach, undo twice. We can tap here. The other way that we could actually do that is on the volume control of this one. So if we tap on the clip there, down in the bottom left this time, the middle icon here is our volume. We could tap that and then we can adjust the volume from zero all the way up to 500% if you wanna blow your ears off, but we'll leave that at 100% there for now. There we go. Uh, so that's a couple of options that you can change the sound around. Now let's clip tap back here to get rid of this sound we need to tap on the sound icon again and here we go we've got our options now duplicate is something that i don't use a lot but if you had a clip that you wanted two copies of all we need to do is hit duplicate and it's going to create that same clip again twice so if you didn't <laughs> didn't get the message the first time when i mentioned this then it's going to add that same clip Number one get a stable shot because edit again the second time so we'll undo again because we don't want that there but especially if you're using things like titles maybe you want to you've got sort of an overlay image or something the duplicate button can be useful in some scenarios Let's jump back over to the left now. So we've already looked at some of these options. Now you'll notice here that when we have the, the clip selected, 
we've got this little scissor icon. If we tap that, we can't actually turn it off because that's these default options we have over here. But as we go along between speed, volume, titles, and our effects here, it's going to actually change the menu. So consider it this way, that your, your left-hand side here is controlling what's over here on the right. And as you slide through, it's going to change to your different menus. So we're going to go through each of these now and show you what they do. Now, some people accuse me of talking too fast in my videos, so I may want to use this speed feature to slow myself down. So if we tap in the bottom left here under speed, you can see we've got the uh, universal tortoise hair uh, speed control here. And what we can actually do is we can adjust this. So if I wanted to go slower, I can scroll that back and you can see there it's gone to four fifths, two thirds, one half speed. Let's listen to what Pete sounds like talking at one half speed, shall we? Now there's your problem. It doesn't adjust the pitch. So you are going to be talking like uh, like Jabba the Hutt or you're going to be talking like the chipmunk. So not the most practical use, but again, if you've got footage, so let's say you're doing a tutorial video and you're showing yourself putting together a cabinet, you probably don't want to show that in real time. You might want to put the speed up, put a backing track on there using some music and you'll be good to go. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not covering audio, I've got a complete audio and sound video about iMovie and that'll be linked up the top and in the description so you can check that one out as well. Now, an option that I don't use a whole lot here in the speed function is the freeze. So if we tap on freeze, what this actually creates is a freeze. Yes, so what it's going to do is going to play the video and it's going to freeze it for that period of time. So you can see if we tap on there, we can adjust that period that we want it to be of what's actually going to freeze. And as we extend that, it extends the length of the clip. So this can be handy if, say, you've got a dramatic shot and you want it to pause on that moment where something cool happens, your kid falls in the pool or whatever it happens to be, you can actually do that. So let's see what this looks like in playback. Get a stable shot because editing something that is stable... And yes, it even has the little room. It's so much easier than editing some jerky. So again, I, I don't think I've ever actually used it, but there you go, it's there. We'll hit reset and take it back to normal. You can add in all of the, the freezes that you want there using the speed. But let's move on now and show you a couple more editing tips here before we finish up. Now, continuing along our menu here, the next menu is our title. So if we tap on title, here are all the different title styles that we can actually add to our video. So as we go along here, we can tap them and you'll notice at the bottom here, we've got opening, middle and closing. And I've got a video coming up all about titles. So we won't go into a heap of detail, but I'll just show you the basics here. Let's say we just wanted a standard title here. We wanted it in the center. Actually, let's make it a lower title. So we tap on lower, we've got our title there. All we need to do is tap on the title itself and we can change the menu we can change the title here so let's just go um we'll just go movie tips and we can enter that hit done and then i'll just change this you can either delete that if you don't want anything there just delete it and hit done or i'll just put here studio live uh, today and there we go so the, you can have your title there and that will be added to that particular shot. So if we go back again to our clip here, it's going to have it on the entire clip. Now I'll show you some tips around how we can sort of make sure that titles are in the right spot in the title video. If you're in the future, it'll be linked up the top. If you're not, then stay subscribed for that one. But yes, titles are very cool. You can put them at the start, the end and right here in the middle of your videos. And last but not least, although I, I kind of think they're least, are our filters. So let's tap on the filter here. And you can see here we've got some pretty standard sort of filters. You can go black and white. You can go blast, blockbuster, blue. Uh, this one, if you've watched any of my early videos, uh, the intro of my video was using this. And it's yeah, it, it's very, you know, uh, early 2000s iMovie. Anyway, you can use these, the vintage look. You can add these filters in. I don't tend to use them a whole lot. But if you're trying to do something a bit fun, then you can throw some filters on your videos by using the filters option. One final pro tip to help your editing here, and that is this. If you have footage that is upside down, and iMovie does a pretty good job of turning it the right way up, and so does your iPhone or your iPad, but if you have footage that you want to change, what you can do is tap on the footage, and if you're in the cut mode here, you can actually swipe down on the left and up on the right. So you're basically rotating the picture, and if we do that, this will happen. Yes, it'll rotate 90 degrees. If we do it again, it'll do that. I know it's hard to see because you can't see my fingers there, but just imagine that we're swiveling. We're grabbing it and we're swiveling at 90 degrees by pulling down with our left and up with our right. We can actually rotate 
and put the the image on any sort of rotation. So even if we had a portrait mode footage, we could rotate it and then we could hit the zoom and then we could pinch it on in and fill the screen with a giant sideways peat head. But you get the point here. We can turn that around. We can turn the zoom off again and then we can rotate it back, rotate again, and then we are back to square one. So that is something I know frustrates a lot of people about iMovie and that's a quick way to get it fixed without any additional editing. One final thing before we finish up here, and that is our project settings. So if we tap on the cog icon over here on the right, you'll see that we have these options. We can add theme music in here. We can fade in from black, fade out to black, and speed changes pitch. So yes, I 100% lied to you. I forgot this option was in here. So we can actually turn speed changes pitch off. And let's go back and just try a quick speed adjustment again now by tapping on speed. If we speed up Pete, let's take a listen. Number one, get a stable shot because editing something that is stable is so much easier than editing some jerky footage. So yes, you can actually do that. I mean, it's still not the greatest quality, but let's go down with a slow Pete. And this is the speed that a lot of folks think I should be talking in my videos. Number one, get a stable shot because... Or maybe not because, yeah, I sound like I've had a few too many beverages. All right, that is going to do it now. So I hope you found this useful and you can now edit like a pro here in iMovie.